say he's not dating anyone with kids. I'm not dating nobody with kids. Why not? Because it's a lot you got to deal with. You'll never be first. You'll never be first. I'm not dating anybody with kids. I ain't gonna lie, I'll date somebody that have a kid, but not kids. Cause oh. I mean, it's gotta be, yeah, no plural, it's gotta be some room for growth. Like, I can deal with one kid, but I can't do multiple kids because it's just gonna be too difficult to grow a family with you having multiple kids and, you know. My kid is always gonna be the one that's getting made fun of, like. <laughs> I, I'm, it's a selfish way of thinking, but fuck that. You feel me? If we got a kid together, like y'all ain't gonna be teaming up on my on my son, on my little Nas here. We, we ain't doing that. Or my little Nirvana. Y'all ain't y'all ain't doing that on my daughter or my son. Y'all ain't teaming up. Wait I like the name. I like the name. I like the name. That's how I name my daughter. Huh. You don't like the name? I love my name. I love it too. Okay. It depends on the age range and the relationship between a man and a baby mother. I need to see that. I need to see a healthy co-parenting thing. And I need he or she to be at least three years in. Three years in what? With, with the kid. I would prefer uh, to be kid be at least like three and At nine. least three? I mean, that's three years of you fucking around with her and hopping back and forth. So, so it's tough to not date someone. From a male perspective, it's tough to not date a chick with kids because like, if she got kids, eh, seven times out of ten, that pussy good, boy. Like, real shit. Niggas ain't coming in that motherfucker for nothing. They ain't just skeeting that little motherfucker for no reason. Like, if she is, she know what she doing, boy. <laughs> like, real shit. So, I mean, it, it, if you dating a chick with kids, I mean, it's, it's a thin line that you gotta toe. But I mean, hey, I mean, it, it has its pros and its cons. Cause if a chick got kids, nine times out of 10, she know what she doing with the dick. She ain't got kids for no reason. I think it depends on how old the children are. What is that, like 20 years old? I've had an experience <laughs> with, I've had, no. I've had an experience. The kid was, it was a girl too, and I think that has something to do with it, whether it's a male or a female. But it was a woman, because I can say she was a woman, because she was my age. And. <laughs> oh, oh, bro. Oh, oh. So you fucking with an old man. <laughs> Basically, what you yeah, But I was a lot younger. I think all young girls, you know, have that experience. <laughs> How old is this nigga? It don't even matter. We're talking about kids here, we're not talking about adults. The parent to this old ass man. <laughs> <laughs> the parent, who was it? It doesn't dude? matter. We talking about kids. The kids. It does matter how old. If it's a two year old, we good. If fair it's enough. a twenty year old, there is gonna be some problems. All right, fair enough. Okay, but you have to break that down for me. Like, do you mean first, as in like having your first child with someone? I mean, having like, like you put first. It, that it, 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 it depends. It depends on how the, the, the woman mindset because, you know, even though sometimes a woman may say that she want to be with you and she want to talk to you and all this good stuff, when it comes to disciplining the kid or saying anything to the kid, she might have a problem with that, you know what I'm saying? So it really comes to, it all breaks down to communication, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you don't have that, then this is going to be some fucked up shit. Man. Step baby daddy of the year. The more kids, the better. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what, I, that's what I'm putting here for. I'm a, I'm a leader, I'm a, a king. Like, I'm supposed to be out here, you know, so if she got kids, bring them. Come on, we going I'll see your mom playing step daddy. Hell no, I'm step baby daddy of the year. Every year, <laughs> consistently. So you a side baby, you like a side baby No, I'm not a side baby you daddy. Might I just, I want to say it depends on the age, but it kind of depends on the person too though at the same time because I don't have crushes on a lot of girls that I had two, three kids to be honest with you. And then at the same time though, I done been in, I done been in a situation where I'm like, see, I want my kid, my first kid to be your first kid, you know what I'm saying? I would rather, you know, us to have that moment together more so than I'm having to learn off of what, off of your mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would rather I would rather it be that way, but it's 2019. Come on, you calling the kid a mistake? No, not a mistake. But what I'm saying is, I would rather my first be your first instead of 
me having to learn off of you yeah. already having a kid. You know what I'm saying? But you pretty much, you pretty much teaching me how to raise a child or how to, cause you already done been through this shit. You know what I'm saying? I would rather us learn together. But yeah, I'm not dating anybody with kids. I'm too selfish. Wow, are you that selfish? Well, I'm selfish too. Yeah, I'm that selfish. No, I'm not giving away somebody else. Okay, so, I mean, what if like, what if they mom died or some shit? Would you jump in then? Yeah. At that point, maybe I might consider it, but not really. So, right, cool. so look, though, you said maybe, you know, I'm gonna go with the maybe aspect of it and not the not really. So if they mom died or whatever, like you would feel like, you know, like, uh, It depends. It really know. depends how, how old that child is because it's just a lot. With the mom dying, that doesn't mean that I step in. It, means, right. it depends on like how committed in a relationship I am with that person. If we're dating, no, I'm not stepping in. I'm older now. Like, I'm 30 now. So like, but before then, I always thought, my thought process was like, Dang, is she fucking on this on her baby daddy type shit? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I can't be fucking with a chick who's still fucking on her baby daddy. So I just never, I, as soon as a chick was like, oh, I got a kid or I got a kid, I'm like, nah. So are you saying that you would single out a woman that has kids simply because you don't want to go that far to find out if she's that kind of person? Because every woman's not like that. I mean, every woman's not, but I'd rather just on rip, I'd rather not date anybody with kids, period. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I don't have, I feel like the playing field should kind of be equal almost so we can at least understand because all you got is one time tell me, you don't understand because you don't have kids. I'm like, yo. Cause so a lot what, of times- What duties do you so entail? Look, please, please tell so me. So look, let me tell you how I first got my title. Okay. <laughs> So I met this girl, right? Mm -hmm. on, yeah, sit there. Feel her, hey, bartender, she gonna need a... So I met this girl, right? We was at the grocery store and shit on the snack aisle. Got her number or whatever. Hit her up, you know what I'm saying? Next thing I know, she ended up pregnant. Never what? had sex. Wait, no, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Ended up pregnant. Wait. Nah, bro, listen, hear me out, hear okay, me out. Okay, all right. Ended up pregnant, you know what I'm saying? Long story long, I took care of the kid, even though it wasn't mine. You loved her? So, I liked her, but I liked the kid more. You feel what I'm saying? Once the baby came and I, then I, I was doing it. I respect that. I still I do. don't even know who this nigga is. I heard his name a few times. So you just take care of the woman's kids. Like, yeah. what are the applications at? Where can they apply? Ladies, www.findababydaddy.com. Hey, <laughs> kids bring a whole nother like, perspective to things. Right. Especially right. if I'm not ready to take on that responsibility. Especially when money is going out the door to something that I did not sign up for, and there's another woman involved too. It's a dub. Like, well, I can't. technically, it's kind of another woman involved, but you know, it's really the kid. Technically, involved. no, it is. Like, not that really. other woman is involved, and she can call the shot. She can call you when she wants to. Be like, I can't do this, 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 this. Like, I'm not with the shit. Like, you're not gonna call and disrupt my household because you just wanna fuck around. Like, I I'm not, fuck no, like you just want to just be relevant, like, and that's the thing too. I've done that with people, like the tip for tap. Yeah. So I have dated people with kids. I didn't know about all the kids, but I was younger and I was naive and I was lied to and bamboozled. So now I, I think lied to you. We gotta get into that he just too. never told me. So then you find out about it. It doesn't matter. Nigga, you was lame for not telling somebody about your kid. That's whack as a motherfucker. Have you ever dated anybody with kids? Um. <laughs> Smash it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't even. Like, how are you answering this nah, question? Nah, it's because I, it's because I've not answered the question, but how are you going to make I that haven't, I haven't made it to the actual dating part, like the actual official part. I've dated a female with kids and it's, it's, it's been difficult, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you wanna go out tonight? Well, I can't, I gotta find a babysitter. Or, I can't hang out because I gotta watch my kid. And it's like, you know, all right, well, let me come over and kick with you with the kid. Well, I don't really trust everybody around my kid like that. And it's like, well, how the fuck are we gonna build when your time goes to your kid? And I'm not trying to take your time away from your kid, because that'd be selfish of me. Let me go find somebody that's on my level, and let me go from there as to me trying to step on your toes and raise your kid. Huh, take your kid, raise your kid, let that man me. You know what I'm saying? If the kids are young, one thing you gotta know about baby mamas, though, they think they have rights to the dick. Like, Baby mamas, even if yeah. they're, even if they're, oh, I can see that, dad, you know, even if the dad has another girlfriend, baby mamas think like 
I got the kids. I got the big. It's it still they dick. So little kid, you know, there's problems with little kids and there's problems with grown kids because yeah. the thing about grown kids, even though the parents may not um, be together anymore, the children. They don't have rights to dick, but they have rights to the the man. Mm. If it's a girl, I've never I've never experienced grown you know men as kids, but grown women as kids, they they you get sort of that same energy. Shit, I might fall in love with a girl. She might have two kids. She might have one kid. To be honest with you, I'm not against it. I just you know in the perfect world, I would rather have it that way. And I feel you on that. In a perfect world, that's how I go. But, you know, in 2019, you know, they, everybody's dying. I mean, everybody. it is what it is. You, you, you can't judge someone for they, for they past or they faults. Right. And like, like I said previously, if you got kids, that nigga ain't coming that motherfucker for nothing. Unless he a simple ass nigga. You know, we done seen them instances. When Nick gets pregnant by accident, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Y'all on vacation? That's real, you know what I'm saying? You met him in Miami while you were there with the girls, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Magnum didn't hold up like it was supposed to, or maybe he wore a Magnum and he wasn't supposed to. Okay. That shit was probably too small, too big, but it slipped up. Now, pushing 30 hypothetically, if I were to be dating somebody, like, it really depends on how old that child is in that relationship you have with their mother. Yeah. And I may or may not consider it. Okay, okay. And I can agree with that. I can totally agree with that because as a mother, you don't want to be with anyone that has, that already has that, <laughs> that already has that mentality. Because it's, it's, it's okay for you to want to be first. Yeah, it's okay. You got your king hat on. Yeah, I, I think I think it's our <laughs> it's our right to at least you know leave sometimes. And it's like okay. I, I don't mind talking to somebody. My mom was a single mom with kids, and my dad had to have some type of mindset to have me. My mom already had one kid, my, my dad got one up. But just me growing up the way I grew up, man, I'm just kind of straight on that, you know what I'm saying? But Personally, I don't feel like a woman with kids is a turn off. I guess it's because of the type of dude I am and how I grew up, not not no disrespect to any other black man, but I grew up with a father that took on the responsibility of helping and raising a lot of kids. Like, he didn't mind, he was a basketball coach, football coach, father figure for a lot of dudes. So when I see kids, and if, you, if a woman got kids, that's kind of just not a turn off for me. But if you got kids, that pussy better be fine. What was Shawty name and don't be a menace by drinking your juice on the south side of Central, you know what I'm saying? When she put Marlon Wayne's and she was putting that Kool-Aid on them and shit. And she did that to everybody. She ain't had them kids for no reason. She was nasty, boy. You gotta be like that. That baby daddy of the year. You need somebody to come buy them book this bags in the summertime. Like in July, I show up with them backpacks, crayons. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Markers, the ones that smell like the fruit. What about, I can I get the 64 count? <laughs> with the shopper now? 64 count? Double that! We getting the extra <laughs> crayons. Listen, man, I'm taking care of them, baby. Wow. We going to the parks. You feel what I'm saying? All wow. of them. But I'm just saying, I rock with the kids more than the mom at the end of the day. Like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is the one topic that I feel like Women have not saying that y'all don't have upper hand, upper hand on other topics, but I feel like this is one where y'all have the undisputed like you know where the tables just kind of turn. Because in one aspect, like at 30, 31, 32, most women have children. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's something that like men have to really like think about. But women at this age, if y'all 30, 31, 32, and y'all don't have no kids, and the dude got a kid, y'all have like a hundred percent choice. Like, no, I ain't fuck with that shit. I ain't dealing with that shit. But you gotta it's like see the total what it is. is a little different. I prefer a woman to not have kids though, like, yeah. I just feel like, even in work environments, kids are an excuse to not come to work. We was talking about that earlier. Kids are an excuse not to go to work and shit, <laughs> and I feel like chicks would be like, oh, I can't do this because my kid is here. Well, my, lock that motherfucker in the room, we get it in, you know what I'm saying? What if you were dating this girl? Okay. And... You've never, you've never seen her before in your life. Y'all are dating, but she, you fall in love with her. Well, how about but she never tells you 
that she has kids. But you love her for who she is. But I've never seen her. No, 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 but you've dated her. What if she just never tells you that she has kids? But you then already like her for who she is. She's a liar. So you wouldn't date her from that point on when she tells you, you that you have You're a liar. Kids. I can't do that, you're a liar. It's not necessarily that she's a liar. What if it was, what if you met her and you you just fell head over heels for her and it's only been two weeks? I don't fall head over heels for nobody in two weeks. <laughs> But when I say this, I don't want, I don't want girls to feel like way. I like kids. I like, you know, hanging out with kids or whatever. If you over 15, it'll be a, it's a lot easier for me to understand because you can tell that nigga to go to work or you can tell you can tell him to go watch the kids or whatever. If you younger and now you hear me with, with, with goddamn all these excuses like, oh, no, I got to take my kid here. I can't do this because I got to do this with him or he got a recital or she got she to gotta practice. Look, bro. I'm not even gonna probably text your ass back after that. At that point, I need all your attention. I need all your time. It's selfish, but it's real though. I feel like this. If you're going to embark on that journey of like being a parent and stuff, I personally want that to be our journey together first, like our first. So if you've already experienced that before, then that's taking away from something that I want. I agree. So am I willing to sit here and say, okay, well, I'll just cast that to the side because, you know, I love you so much. Maybe, like, you know, maybe that's the case if it's that deep. Yeah. But if that's one of my things, like, it's like, no, I want to have that first with yeah. you and for us to have that, then I'm not going to waver on it. I agree. I mean, you, you got 100% right to be selfish about that shit because you want to experience some shit with your nigga that you've been doing some shit with. First child, first, you know, first everything type shit. I ain't willing to like compromise with it, but if I came across a girl or came across a woman who had a kid, I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to play step daddy for a little while. Not really a little while, but I'd be willing to play step daddy for a minute, you know? But it really, like you said, depend on what the other people got going on. I ain't trying to deal with no other niggas. You know what I'm saying? This should be disrespectful to me because I kill somebody, I hurt somebody in the heartbeat. I ain't gonna lie. When I was a young nigga, I was a wild, wild, wild boy. I remember I, she, I guess you know. <clears throat> nowadays, you would call her a thought. Ah, this young girl I was dating or messing around with. She wasn't dating. Sorry, somebody's calling me. That's probably her. That's probably her. Oh no. So this girl put a blanket over her child, bro. Like, no. <laughs> And we was going crazy. <laughs> going crazy. But this was a while ago. This was a long time ago. It was like years ago. But how did you feel about that? At the time, I was just horny. I didn't care. You didn't care with the whole kids? Eh, hey, mommy. No. I was horny. She oh. was lit. I was lit. I'm 31. I've been through a lot of, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> shit going on. That whole falling in love at first sight shit and two, nah, fuck all that. I ain't with it, you know what I'm saying? I need to see who you with. I need to know, are you in touch with yourself? Do you know how many personalities do you have? Do you name your wigs? I need to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I need to know if you can deal with them demons in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you deal with that before you deal with a person? Then you got kids too, so you gotta have a certain type of patience. If you ain't got patience. Do you patience, feel like the kids are other demons? Nah, the kids is great, they blessings, you know what I'm saying? But the parents, have demons, you know what I'm saying? Nah, now look, take your kid, keep him pushing, cause I'm good, you know what I'm saying? Now if somebody come along and it's just like, I'm not scared to step up and beat that, cause I'm 31, I mean most females my age got kids, realistically speaking, hell younger than me they got kids. So I'm not afraid to step up to that, but you have to be willing to let me step up and be that. Don't be trying to let me be halfway, you know what I'm saying, and then I discipline the kid or, you know, just try to put them on that right path of where they going and giving them that right knowledge and that food that somebody else not giving them. And then once I do something that you don't like, it's like, oh no, nah, my kid, my kid, my kid. I like, oh, I really like buying ice cream <laughs> from ice cream yeah. truck. You feel <laughs> Friday, Wednesday. I go to all the projects, you feel what I'm saying? I slide that 20 to that ice cream man, feel like the king of the day. Them kids be fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? So if you stay in the projects, I'll be, I'm gonna be fucking with you sometime this summer. I'm gonna slide through Step Baby Daddy here. I'm gonna drop off that 50. Make sure y'all get that Tweety Bird. That's the best one. That's the one I fuck with. I ain't got time for you to tell me you gotta do this for the kids, but I'm trying to go down and go see Aladdin that week. Or I'm trying to go down and go to the club and I want you to roll with me. I ain't got time you tell me I gotta watch the kids and like, nah, fuck them kids. I need you to be with me. 
That's that's that, and, and it's selfish, but it's real though. I don't, got, I, I don't got time for that. So I'd rather put myself in a, in a situation where you ain't got no kids. Now, if you older, like I said, you 15, and, and you can have the older ones watch the youngest ones, then yeah, we might be able to chop it out. But it's about me trying to date you. Like, I don't need the excuses. I can be understanding, but I'm not that understanding. I don't, hey, like, this is people 100. That, that's real, but I just really feel like it's a line. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, kids ain't gotta be the definition for me cutting you off. My nigga Drake said, honestly, she probably old enough to be my mama friend. She just want that feeling back. I'll make her feel young again. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Drake put it in perspective. It, 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 the, kid, the kids ain't gotta be a problem, but you know what I'm saying? Just make me feel like, you know what I'm saying? You made me feel that, like, you know what I'm saying? It be the women who are like self driven who do have goals and who do have those like aspirations to have that family lifestyle that's willing to be like yeah you know i ain't fucking with that shit if you got a kid you can stay your little ass over there i only want to fuck with somebody who got what i got trying to go back on yeah you know? but there's also women too so i have homegirls who got kids too but it's like you can't taking kids on as a responsibility and asking a man to do that yeah. is a lot yeah. So I think you can't, when you go out and date men, like you have to make it known, like I got two kids, three yeah, kids, whatever yeah, that's kids. A fact. And you need to set the expectation, like if we're gonna be together, like you gotta take care of my kids because we're now a family. And so you that, have to give people that, the opportunity. Is, is that a, a if you're in a expectation? Fam but if you're getting married to a woman with kids, not like, married. We're just gonna say dating. Is that an expectation? If say me and you've been dating for six months. But yeah, but if you're gonna date with the intent of this being serious, and then one day y'all will be married, then you have to know one day you're gonna have to step up and be that father figure for these people. Me, I prefer no kids only because I feel like I want to be the number one priority, and you can't argue. You know, when they say, oh, I know we were supposed to go to San Tropez, but my kid got sick. You can't be like, well, yeah. fuck your kid. You know what I mean? Like, in my head, I'm saying, fuck your kid. But out loud, I have to be like, oh, excuses. your kid. You know what I mean? Exactly. Excuses. Them excuses. Nah, I got to be number one. And then so. we kind of selfish. If you've been in that situation, would you take a second to understand her side of why she's reacting to you in the first place? No, I always try to understand different perspectives before I even jump into anything. It's like, you know, I try to sit back. I used to just jump back into it and I might slap, but nah, not for real. <laughs> but nah, I, I, I gotta really take my time and really, cause they say, when something this close to you, you know what I'm saying, you can't understand it, you know what I'm saying? But when you move it back like here, you can understand it a lot better. So I will try to understand the perspective, but at the same time, so like- So you would say something about it with kids. No, but that's not what you just asked me though. I, I asked, but you I, have to no. be dating her for you to get to that point, for I you to have to discipline somebody. I understand somebody. it, but you have to not lash out at me over your kid. Like, we're not gonna go back and forth But she, we're not kids, gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna lash out at you about our kids when we it. first start dating. That's what I mean. I, I need I need all the BS out the way. I think I'm being very generous. Allowing age three. Why is three? That's because a number one. Really, I should be saying double digits like ten. But because at this age that we are, most people done had they. Well, I don't have kids yet, but most people who are thirty, they got about an eight year old. So you know. Running on around. But what's so what's so magical about this number three? Though? Like what's so I'm just saying because I okay, so when I dated somebody for five years, he had a baby on me. And I stuck through that shit. And like like I really thought that was that I was gonna be with that person. So I thought that he wouldn't, you know, I thought give him another shot. But no, like that nigga still was fucking his baby mama. So I would never fuck with a nigga who had a, a kid within any month span, one year, like the baby really need to be like three to five. Bruh, I don't know why you went and had a baby on this beautiful lady. Like, why would you do that to her, bruh? Do you think like the man should like speak to the father of the child before he starts doing some extra shit like buying sneakers? Like say, say, say we got, you know, you got a son, Timmy. 
feel me? And, and his, his daddy's buying him like Payless shoes or some shit like that. And then I'm coming around and I'm trying to buy him Jordan and Air Max. Do you feel like, you know, I'm overstepping my boundaries for buying him better shit than what his daddy buying him? But it's better to you. I mean, the functionality of the shoe is that it goes on their foot and it works. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a so fact. But for you, it's just like this is a more expensive yeah, fly but or shoe. Let's be so, 100%. If your man is buying Payless shoes and I'm buying your son Gucci shoes or whatever shoes that's just more expensive or something, okay. you gonna send your kid to school. For picture day and the shit that I bought as opposed to what your daddy bought. What the daddy bought. A woman with a kid might have fucked up. You got two or more. You drink, fucking drink. fucking yeah. Yeah. Freak man, freak man, yeah, that's me. And I know you ready for it. You got two plus kids. You, you. <laughs> what, what we ain't finna do? You got two plus kids. You done done it all. So you know what I'm saying? I just that's just how I feel. But but to the same tune, like I said, I'm a nurturing guy. I'm not gonna treat your kids wrong. But understand if your kid's bad, I'm gonna beat their ass. My daddy beat my ass, so if your kid's bad and you ain't never had a hold of them, then you meet me. After me, you ain't gotta worry about little Jimmy acting up in kindergarten, cause little Jimmy gonna see the belt. Pure leather, Calvin Klein, I bought that motherfucker from Men's Warehouse. And that motherfucker's gonna see him if he got a problem in kindergarten. Right, you just got Jimmy me. gonna get the belt, you gonna get the dick. That ain't what it is, <laughs> <laughs> the children, they definitely throw a monkey wrench in the, in the whole situation. Right, but you know what, on the flip side, I would say, especially for women, I don't think a woman goes into it saying, I'm gonna be a single mom. Nobody wants to just be a single yeah. mom. You know what I mean? So when you end up that way, you have to hope that someone is gonna see past that single mom shit and be willing to take on the responsibility. You know what I mean? Because yeah. once the kids are here, they're here, whether the relationship lasts or not. My mother told me when I was a kid, not a kid, I was probably a teenager, but she was like, be careful who you sleep with because if you have a kid with that woman, y'all are family. Like, yes. Forever. Yeah, are family. and I wish people honored that more. Where's the, the middle ground? You feel me? Like, where's it to this point where you like, you know, you're not overstepping the boundaries to the daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like you're the stepdad or you're the guy that's okay. stepping in. Like it's okay to, to, to buy this. You know what I'm saying? Cause the nigga gonna feel some type of way. Like, why the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like why, why is he but doing But that's the conversation that you need to have with the woman. Like either she needs to- No, uh, do you gotta have it with the woman or do the woman? First, like you gotta, like, you gotta, gotta be baby. like, hey. Her baby daddy. But she has to facilitate that. Yeah, yeah. So that. it's like, there should be no reason. I always think like this. There should no, be no reason that you come in contact with another person even if it is like a father or whatever, yeah. without somebody facilitating that. Because the whole reason you're here is because of her. So she needs to be able to go to the other person and be like, hey, so I'm dating someone, someone, so they're around your child, and y'all, I want y'all to meet. And it's on that other person to be like, I accept it, or I don't. And if they don't accept it, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be what it is. You're gonna still date the person, like whatever. I needed to be a seasoned co-parenting situation. They already got everything established. I, matter of fact, I would prefer she got a husband or something to keep her, you know, single ones. They be mad when you get a when you get a girl. I mean, I guess that is kind of like the difference for a minute. Would you, okay, so if you had a baby mother, would you have to meet the dude before he started coming around your kid? Yeah. How would you feel about that? Yeah. Would you feel the I same? wouldn't have to meet him, but I would like to. Okay, what if he didn't want to meet you? What if you just like, Why wouldn't he want to meet I'm me? I'm fucking your baby mother, so. <laughs> then he can't be around my child, then. And if, it, if they love that deep, then she could just, he can just come, all oh, my kid can come stay with me. You know what I mean? Like, he don't have to be involved in that. But if you want to be around my kid, I need to meet you, because a lot of suckers out here, you feel what I'm it's saying? There's some creeps. There's so, some creeps out there. Yeah, that too, you feel what I'm saying? So I don't, I just want to feel your energy, get your vibe. I ain't no hater though, you know what I'm saying? Like, actually, I would I would introduce you to my baby mama to get her off my back. Hey, this unspoken Atlanta. This bitch is the guy. Hey, you got kids? That ain't a problem with me. This bitch is like, hey. Hey, look, my bad, man. I ain't mean to say that. Okay. God damn, my that was sound up. like I ain't shit. That was fucked up, but that's the truth. It's Atlanta. She got kids, okay. You know what I'm saying? Long as, look. She, long as she ain't giving me shit. Because as a mother, if my child is acting out and I'm trying to get you to meet a nice man that I'm dating, I'm gonna lash out at you before he even has the chance quick, quick. to lash out at him because that's my job as a mother. It's not his job, it's not my job to okay. wait for him to do something. We're on our first date. I'm gonna let you know, first of all, that I, <laughs> 
that I am in charge or I have that part already set in place because I'm not looking for you to be a disciplinarian. I'm looking for you to understand where I am as a mother and for you to understand where we are so that you can, or so that we can all come together and fit how we're supposed to fit. If you're living with that person so realistically nowadays, you aren't dating, you're in a relationship, y'all are living together. So, if y'all living together, you're already around the child. You know what I'm saying, whatever. But then you talk to the other person, like, hey, we about to move in. So this person is gonna basically be a father figure to your son or your daughter or whatever. Um, you need to meet this person. Facts, 100% correct. Quick question, I got nine kids. You got one. <laughs> you got nine kids? I got nine kids. I take, I take care of my kids. I got nine kids, four baby okay. moms. You love me, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you meet me, you fall in love with me, and I let you know I got nine kids. What's popping? I mean, I can't just write off and say, nope, I'm not gonna talk to him. I can't say that. Okay. But I can't also say that, yes, I'm gonna accept for him for who he is and all his kids, I'm all for it. I can't. But you already like, like me, we already went out you and found and I just like, yo, you know I got nine kids, right? Well, that's something that we'll have to talk about. Word. <laughs> If I like you for who you are already, then that's just another piece that I learned about you. It's like me learning that you like fish instead of chicken. Okay, let me incorporate how I cook for you. Now that you have nine kids, it's time for me to figure out, all right, are you, how are you communicating with your baby's mamas? So you have, you have a baby mother? Yeah. Y'all multiple? Uh, too, listen, we I mean, that's listen, yours, because I know you like to take care of people's kids. Hey, we going to keep it, we going to just say yeah. That's your biological. That's the answer, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I you know I got yeah, I got one of those. Mm -hmm. And a few others, mm -hmm. maybe. We don't know. Cause I just take you know, I take care of these kids. That's what I'm here to Ooh, do. Jeff? I'm here Did for you it. <laughs> well, what you mean? It might be because I don't know my daddy, so I'm just out here trying to, you know what I'm saying, be be positive for the children. But I like kids though. How would you feel if you was fucking with a nigga, right? And then he hits you with the, oh, I got a kid on the way. On the way? On the way. Oh. <laughs> the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I just found out yesterday. Type of shit. Nah. No. I found out this morning. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, I you, fuck, you got hey girl, I fuck with you. You bad. You cool as fuck. Just, no. My ex called me this morning. She pregnant. <laughs> and it's mine. You know, you got too much to do with. <laughs> But y'all connected, y'all lit, it's, it's great. There, there's no way we can be lit and you got a kid on the way. All right, at the end of the day though, that's just, it's very tough. It's a lot of lines that gotta be crossed, a lot of different levels of communication that gotta be brought to light. But at the end of the day, it's all about the mother. The mother has to speak to both men and let them know where they stand. And she has to really have strong communication with the father of her child because as a new nigga coming into the kid's life, like, I would hate for the kid to grow up like fatherless, you feel me? Because the daddy trying to be on some 10 and shit. Right. When it ain't even worth you acting like being on 10, when you just could communicate to me and I could tell you like, hey, you know, I know you ain't got it, you feel me? Like, but we gonna, we gonna it work. It doesn't have to be that though. No, no, it, I, I understand that, but you know, it's, it's saying, I'm saying like, you might not have a dish check, but I gotta just check. I live with your child. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make right. sure your child sure. don't go without. And they ain't even gotta know that it's from me. They yeah. Can, they could be like, yeah, your daddy then got you some new shoes. You know what I'm saying? If a man has kids, it's easier for the woman to date a man with kids than the man to date a woman with kids because of how nurturing y'all are by nature. Now, that's just assuming you're a good mother. If a nigga's knocking sure. up an ain't shit, an ain't shit bitch, that's his problem. Or a true mother who puts her kids first. It's way more difficult for a man to date her than it is for a man that has children to date a woman. Y'all gonna fuck with us, especially if we a good dad. I'm not gonna lie, this is just how I feel being a father. It's not hard to be a good dad. If a nigga's not a good dad, he's not shit. It's not hard. Look. Is it tricking? It's tricking. On the kids? If you got it though, it ain't. But it's on the kids though. <laughs> but it's. Still tricking. Cause tricky. and there's a there's a girl out there like I got I got a nigga who paying for my kid shit right now. I got a nigga who paying for my. I ain't even fucking. I ain't even fucking. They don't be bragging. No, they be bragging. They brag. 
Nah, they be like, girl, I ain't pay up. Okay. You know that nigga, I, I told you I ain't never gave head to or fuck? Yeah, that nigga about to pay my kids' bills. Yeah, yeah. they can't pay up for a motherfucking month, bitch. Yeah, yeah. it's a bitch out there. Y'all saying that yeah. shit? Alright, I'ma still do it anyway, though. But y'all shouldn't say that shit. That's what I <laughs> If you have everything covered on your end and me are and your children's mothers are all good and we build that relationship. When you cool with all my nine kids. If we especially if me and your nine kids are cool, then great. Let's yeah, but what if one of them not cool with you? Like you then that's but that's a part of you, and once again, that's something that we'll have to figure out. Out of nine kids, it's probably gonna be more than one of them that doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case. Then we'll figure it out. We're just gonna have to take it as is because I'm dating your father. Your father wants to date me. And so now we have to figure out how we're gonna move forward in this family bond that we got going on. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have to come together and figure out what our differences are and figure out how to move forward. See, when girls see a good dad, it kind of turns them on. See, the you could be a good mom and I could really give a fuck. All I give a fuck about is your time. Yeah, you're a good mama, but I need you to be here. I need you to be there with me. I need you, I'm trying to do this thing at the third. I'm trying to you to come over and on, on spare the nights at two o'clock in the morning just because I'm drunk and I want you to be next yeah, to me. I just want you to fuck. And if you can't, if you can't do that, you ain't got a I ain't really trying to fool with you because it's the hey. same girl that do the same thing you can do. But guess what? She ain't got no kids. If I tell her to come over, she gonna come over, period. The conclusion is, I prefer them to not have kids because kids get in the motherfucking way. True. Other, other, uh, extracurricular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't I date nobody with would kids. Not straight out the gate. Would not date somebody straight. Out. At this age in the game, age. I'm about to be. I'm 29. Mm -hmm. I date a female that has one child. The child has to be. I don't care about the age for real. Cause they either gonna they like me or they not. Fresh out. Ooh, fresh out. Out of pappy then. If I get fresh out, cause I'm gonna be the only daddy that they know. <laughs> like if the daddy ain't trying to be around, like I'll be the only daddy, but that's gonna be tough. Um, that's I'll fuck with a kid and the mama. She won't. No, I won't. I'm cool with it if the age is appropriate. You know what I'm saying? And it's not me saying that I don't want to help raise your kids. I just don't like the excuses on on where you can be and, and, and what time you can be there because of that. Because at that point, I'm kind of understanding, but at the same time, I don't. I haven't experienced it. Overall, just be cautious. If you, it's like a proceed with caution when dating somebody with kids. Uh, I mean, I, I say you got to see how the co-parenting is. Like, if they got a healthy co-parenting situation. And they only discuss things that have to do with the kids. It's just red flags, you know, when they there. So proceed with caution. Hey, if she got kids, nigga, you better date her. That should be your primary reason for dating. That's all I got to say. If you have kids, you got to deal with probably other people that have kids. Like, because they're the only ones that can understand what it is. If we you really 30, take though. your. We 30, though. Like, nine times out of 10. Motherfuckers got a kid or two. Yeah, but you can be a cooler like me. Ooh. I'm just saying and deal with people who don't have kids. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. I choose not to deal with the family dynamics. Like, and that's me respecting. If you like a girl, lie to her. Tell her you don't have children if you got children. That is not what I meant. <laughs> that's what she just told me. No. But like I said, the chick with kids is the chick that know what she doing on their dick, but did you think so? Trust me, but what? all of us though, not all of us, but niggas ain't nothing. Yeah. In the, niggas ain't coming to the chick for no reason. In conclusion, you say that you wouldn't date anybody with kids, but just give us a chance. I mean, no, it's cool. <laughs> like Biggie said, give me one more chance. I dig it, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's possible, but you know. We'll see when that situation happens. Right now, I'm dealing with nobody with kids. <laughs> Deuces.